people travel to the big station at the end of the line. Engines from the other railways sometimes pull their trains. These engines stay the night and go home next day. Gordon was talking one day to one of these. When I was young and green, he said, I remember going to London. Do you know the place? The station's called King's Cross. King's Cross? snorted the engine. London's Euston. Everybody knows that. Rubbish, said Duck. London's Paddington. I know. I used to work there. The engines argued when they got to sleep. They argued when they woke up. They were still arguing when the other engine went away. Stupid thing, said Gorn. I've no patience. Stupid yourself, remarked Duck. London's Paddington. Paddington, do you hear? Stop arguing, James broke in. You make me tired. You both agreed about something anyway. What's that? London's not Houston. Now be quiet. Gorton puffed away, still grumbling. I'm very sure it's King's Cross. I'll go and prove it. But that was easier said than done. London lay beyond the big station at the other end of the line. Gorton has to stop there, and the other engine took his place. If I didn't stop, he thought, I could go to London. One day, he ran right through the station. And at other time, Gordon tried slipping away before the firemen could uncouple the coaches. Gordon tried all sorts of tricks, but nothing worked. His crew checked him every time. Oh dear, he said sadly. I'll never get there. The next day, Gorn took the express train to the big station as usual. Then he puffed into a siding to wait for the other engine to come. It had been a few minutes, but the engine hadn't come yet. That's strange. The train should have departed by now. Just then the fat controller came up. Well, Gordon, the engine for the express has turned off while it was coming. So you shall have to take the express train to London. Gordon was delighted. He backed down onto his train. Gordon waited and waited. The passengers got on board. Gordon thought it was ages. The guard blew his whistle and Gordon started. Come on, come on, come on! Pop Gordon to the coaches. We're going to town, we're going to town, we're going to town! Hang the coaches. Gordon found that London was a long way away. Never mind, he said. I'd like a good long run to stretch my wheels. But all the same, he was proud that London came in sight. The fat controller was sitting in his office, reading the newspaper. When he turned the page and saw the photo of Gorn in London, he was surprised. He kept on reading, absorbed. The next early evening, Gordon came back home. The fat controller came to see him. Well, Gordon, I see you had a good welcome in London. So how was your trip? Did you enjoy yourself? No, sir, I didn't. Why ever not, Gordon? London's all wrong, sir. They've changed it. It's no longer King's Cross anymore. It's St. Pancras.